Good morning and welcome to Life Kids. We are so glad you could join us this morning, aren't we, Avi? Yeah, good morning. Okay, so we're going to kick things off. Avi's going to open us up with a word of prayer. Go ahead, Avi. Okay, dear God, um, thank you for this day. Thank you for the church. And thank you for all the wonderful things we have. Amen. Amen. That was beautiful. Okay, boys and girls, we're going to dive right into worship. So stand up, stretch, get your wiggles out. Feel free to uh, sing along and do the motions with us. Moms and dads, feel free to join in too. Enjoy. You guys stomp your feet like that? And let's clap together. That's it. Keep it going. Let's sing this little light of mine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Happen now. Sounds good. Huh. Everywhere I go. Everywhere I go. I'm gonna let it shine. Yes, everywhere I go. I'm gonna let it shine. Everywhere I go. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Oh, that sounds so good. That's called clapping on the back beat. All right, sing this real quiet with me now. Even when I'm afraid, I'm gonna let it shine. Even when I'm afraid, I'm gonna let it shine. Yes, even when I'm afraid, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine.
to think about the goodness of the Lord. He gives me everything I need and so much more. So I just want to lift my hands and say that I love Him. I just want to lift my heart in praise. And I want to be thankful. I want to be grateful. I want to remember everything that the Lord has done. I want to be thankful. I want to be grateful. I want to be, I want to be, I want to be. I like to think about the goodness of the Lord He gives me everything I need and so much more So I just want to lift my hands And say that I love Him I just want to lift my heart in Wasn't that great worship? Yeah. We should worship all the time, right? Yeah. Every day, right? With our words, with our song, with our prayer, with our actions. Always worshiping God, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, awesome. Okay, so today our story is about a man named... Daniel. <laughs> okay. She had a little bit of a rain fog. Um, about Daniel, and he was thrown into the... Lion's Den. Very good. Um, so sit back, relax, and enjoy this video. Stories of the Bible, Daniel in the Lion's Den. This is Daniel, oh, hey. who was a Jewish man who was taken to Babylon when he was very young. Mm -hmm. Daniel loved God and followed God's rules. He talked to God three times a day and asked God for help often. Daniel served in the Babylonian king's court for many years yeah, I know him. and under many kings. Hey, Daniel. Daniel always proved himself to be more capable than all the other court officials. My hero, I think. Wow, well, time. Daniel was serving under King Darius and because of his great abilities, the king made plans to place him in charge of the entire empire. Wow, okay. The other court officials searched for some fault in Daniel, but they couldn't find anything wrong with him. He was faithful, responsible, and completely trustworthy. Uh, wait. The court officials realized the only way to get at Daniel would be to challenge his faith. Come on. So they went to King Darius. <laughs> Excuse me, your majesty. And advised him to make a law that for the next 30 days, any person who prays to anyone except King Darius will be thrown into the lion's den. I like it. King Darius signed this law, and once a Babylonian king signed a law, it could not be overruled. When Daniel learned of this law, he went home and knelt down, as he always did, to pray in his room with the windows open towards Jerusalem. He prayed three times a day, just as he always had done, giving thanks to God and asking for his help. The officials went to Daniel's house and found him praying. Gotcha! They went to the king and reminded him of the law. I remember. Well... Then they said that Daniel had been found praying to God three times a day. What? When the king heard this, he was very upset. Get over here. And he spent the whole day trying to think of a way to save Daniel. Wait, what? By that evening, the court officials came back to the king <coughs> and reminded him 
that no law signed by the Babylonian king could be overruled. So at last, the king gave orders for Daniel to be thrown into the lion's den. The king said to him, May your God, who you serve faithfully, rescue you. Then the lion's den was sealed shut with Daniel inside. The king spent the night fasting and couldn't sleep. Then very early in the morning, the king hurried to the lion's den. He called out, Hey Daniel! Was your God able to rescue you from the lions? And Daniel answered, Long live the king! My God sent his angel to shut the lion's mouths so that they would not hurt me, for I have been found innocent in his sight. The king was overjoyed and ordered that Daniel be taken out of the lion's den. Then the king ordered the men who had schemed against Daniel to be thrown into the lion's den as punishment. Daniel was safe. There was not a scratch on him, for he trusted in God. Wasn't that a great video? Yes. Didn't you learn a lot about Daniel? Yeah. Okay, so Daniel was a great man, right? Yeah. Okay, and he prayed to God how many times a day? Three. Three times a day, right? And wherever Daniel went, he seemed to find favor, and he seemed to see things very easily, correct? Correct. And there were some men, the king at that time liked Daniel a lot, right? Yes. But there were some men that did not. No. They were the court advisors, correct? Mm -hmm. And they became very what? Angry. Angry and jealous, right? So they tricked the king into doing what? Um, throwing him in the lion's den. Right, creating a law saying that, you know, if someone prays to anything else or anyone else besides the king, you have to be put to death. You have to be put in the lion's den, okay? So the king signed it, not realizing that their target was Daniel, right? Because he loved Daniel, and I don't think he would have done it. So, he signed it, law was done, Daniel prayed, and what did the court advisors do? They told the king. Like, like small children, they tattled. They went and told the king, hey, Daniel is praying to God. What are you going to do about it? You going to put him in the, in the den? You going to throw him into the lions? What are you going to do? So he couldn't go back on it. He tried, and he couldn't, right? So he had to throw Daniel in the lion's den, and he didn't want to. So Daniel was put into the lion's den, right? Did the lions eat Daniel? No. What happened? He was fine. He was fine, right? Because God protected him. Sent an angel to protect Daniel from the lions, okay? They didn't get him for dinner. And in the morning after the king all night was worried and uh, concerned and fasted and was just waiting to go and check on Daniel, ran out and said, Daniel, are you still there? And Daniel said, yes, have no fear. God found favor on me. So he told his men to pull Daniel up out of the lion's den, right? And then what happened? Um, he threw the other three men into it. The court advisors. He said, hey, troublemakers, you're going in now. Did the lions eat them? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty sure of that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Had a little bit of dinner. A little light snack. Okay? <laughs> right? Yeah. So the moral of this story is that Daniel was a man of God. He served God. He loved God with all that he had. And he knew that God was going to protect him. Right? Yeah. And we probably aren't going to be thrown into a lion's den. I, I would say... You know, no, probably not going to no, happen. No, no. But in our day-to-day -day life, whatever it is that we're doing, right, that we should always serve God no matter the circumstance, no matter what you're going through, no matter how big or small your problems are, right? We lay them at God's feet. We love God. We serve God. We're faithful to God. And God will find favor. Sometimes maybe not in the way that we see things happening, but God has the bigger picture, Right? And so his plan, his ultimate plan, is the best plan that we could possibly have, isn't it, baby? Mm -hmm. Do you ever pray to God uh, when you're going through something or you're nervous or you're upset or when you're happy, right? You use prayer all the time. It's a great tool to use, correct? Okay, so that's our lesson for this week. A um, couple of things. One, don't forget Operation Christmas Child is coming up in just a few weeks. 
and we have a few things you need to keep doing. If you're collecting items, awesome. If you have questions, you can email me at lifekids at lifechurchcalvary.com with your questions. Um, Work on some notes to put inside the boxes. If you would like to decorate some of the boxes on the inside, you can also email me at lifekids at lifechurchcalvert.com and I will make a time to connect with your moms and dads um, to pick up boxes uh, so that you can decorate them, right? And we will be packing those boxes on November 21st, right? before our Saturday evening service. Um, More details will come out about that, and we are looking forward uh, to doing uh, Operation Christmas Child this year. It might be a little different. Uh, We'll all be wearing masks. Things are just a little bit different this year, but it's still a great thing to do and a great ministry to be a part of, isn't it? Okay, so I'm gonna close out with prayer, and then we'll finish up with some worship songs. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Dear God, we just thank you, Lord, for uh, each child that came to watch today, Lord. Uh, we miss each and every one of them. We miss the families, Lord. We are looking forward to when we are all united back in the church uh, building, Lord, where we can all see each other and talk and just uh, spend time together learning about you, Lord. Uh, I just pray over these kids, Lord, this week. You help them get through their school. And if they're under pressure or stress, Lord, you take that off their shoulders, Lord. We just thank you and we praise you in your holy and wonderful name. Amen. Amen. Okay, now we're going to finish up with some worship songs, right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, boys and girls, stand up. Get ready to sing. Moms and dads, feel free to join in too. Have a great week, guys, and we will see you next Sunday. Bye.
the difference He's always here, always here to listen Whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, 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 oh He is my source, the one who gives me life He is my God and He's good all the time Whoa, oh, 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 oh When I'm worried, when I'm feeling down That's when God comes through, turns it all around Yeah, He gives me joy Every situation keeps my spirits high No matter what I'm facing, oh God comes through and turns it all around Yeah, He gives me joy in every situation Keeps my spirits high no matter what I'm facing